We hope that you're staying safe in your respective countries during these unprecedented times. My name is Rima Medeiros from the G20 Finance Track Program, and this is the virtual press briefing for the G20 Finance Ministers and Central Bank Governors meeting under the Saudi presidency. We're pleased to have with us the chairs of the G20 Finance Track, the Finance Minister of Saudi Arabia, Mr. Mohammed Al Jidan, and the Governor of the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority, Dr. Ahmed Al Khalifi. And as always, with G20 press briefings, the Minister of Finance will deliver a statement about the outcomes of the Finance Ministers and Central Bank Governors meeting. Then we will have time for a Q&A session through two means of communication. The first being a Q&A link, which has been sent across previously to registered media. And the second is through the official G20 presidency media email, which is g20media at saudisecretariat.gov.sa. With that, Minister Jadan, if you would, please. Thank you very much, uh, Rima. Thank you all for joining us today. I hope you, your families, and your colleagues have been healthy and safe during these tough times. And I would like to express my deepest sympathies to all those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have just concluded our G20 finance ministers and central banks governors meeting on the margin of the 2020 spring meetings. This pandemic has already taken a great toll on our people and, in our, and their economic well-being, and we are still faced with extraordinary uncertainty about the depth and duration of this global pandemic. G20 leaders during the G20 Extraordinary Leaders Summit on 26th of March 2020 recognized the gravity of the interwined public and economic crisis. They have therefore committed to a globally coordinated response encompassing all necessary measures to combat COVID-19 pandemic. More recently, G20 finance ministers and central bank governors convened two extraordinary meetings to attain consensus on a roadmap that will implement our G20 leaders' commitment in responding COVID-19. Ministers and governors' urgent collective priority is to overcome the COVID-19 pandemic and its intertwined health, social, and economic impacts. We are determined to spare no efforts, both individually and collectively, to protect lives, overcome the pandemic, safeguard people's job and incomes, support the global economy during and after this phase, and ensure the resilience of the financial system. These are unprecedented times that demand swift, strong, and significant global action. G20 members have injected over $7 trillion into the global economy to protect jobs, businesses, and economies. Billions have been allocated to the hunt for vaccines, research and development, protection of frontline health workers, and addressing trade issues and vital goods. Our efforts must continue and be amplified. Ministers and governors are committed to use all available policy tools to support the global economy boost confidence, maintain financial stability, and prevent deep and prolonged economic effects. As mandated by the Extraordinary G20 Leaders Summit, today, ministers and governors endorsed a G20 action plan in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The plan sets out our commitment to specific actions to drive forward international economic cooperation as we navigate this crisis and look ahead to a robust and sustained global economic recovery. Our aim with the action plan is to support the necessary health response and measures to increase our collective health resilience for future, preventing a liquidity crisis 
turning into a solvency crisis and a global recession becoming a global depression. Ministers and governors have worked as well to deliver international financial assistance to the developing countries. Our actions today include a G20 initiative In the region given the global slowdown. Do you agree with the IMF's estimate with non-oil GDP contracting 4% in Saudi Arabia alone? Uh, thank you very much. I uh, believe the G20 um, uh, presidency uh, is uh, ensuring that the world um, uh, faces